April. We know it as the fourth month of the year, and a lot of holidays happen on it, such as Easter, Earth Day, and April Fools, of course. But where did it come from? Why is it called April? Well, we got it from the Romans, who named it Aprilis. Now, it isn't very clear where Aprilis came from, but traditionally it is accepted that it came from the verb Aperire, which means to open, in allusion to the opening of flowers and trees during the season. And this is supported by the modern Greek word Nixis, which means opening. March. March was named after Mars, the Roman god of war. And the Romans did like to give names in honor of their gods. So, and April was the month of Venus, Venus, the god of the goddess of beauty. With and this is further proved by the her Veneralia, which is held in this month festivities of the goddess Venus. Its true name may have been Aphrilis, which came from the Greek Phroditi, or in English we know this goddess as Aphrodite. Aphrodite and Venus being probably the same goddess. So this is probably, this is quite a logical explanation where April come from. And also it might have come from the Etruscans Apru their name for Aphrodite or Venus. But Jacob Grimm also suggests that it might have come from the mythical god of or hero by the name of Aper or Aprus. In the calendar of Romulus, the founder of Rome, there were only ten months, and April we know as the fourth month of the year was not so during the reign of Romulus. It was actually the second month. March or Martius being the first, then April or April is second, followed by Maius or May, Junius or June, Quintilis, Sextilis, September, October, November, December. But then it all changed during the reign of his successor, the calendar of Numa Pompilius, circa 700 BC. He added two more months to the calendar: Januarius or January, Februarius February, Martius March, Aprilis or April. But it only had 29 days at the time. Maius May, Junius June, Quintilis. Sextilis and September, October, November, December. This, you can see, is quite similar to our calendar today, but a lot of the months had did not have the same amount of days as we had. And then it was changed yet again by Julius Caesar. He changed the months, wait, the year into 365 days as we almost know it today, but the calendar was again modified by Pope Gregorius in the Middle Ages. And why, that is why we call our calendar the Gregorian calendar. Now the Julius Caesar's calendar was quite the same with Numa Pompilius. Januarius or January being the first, then Februarius, then Martius, then Aprilis, but it now had 31 days. Maius, Junius, Quintilis, Sextilis, September, October, no November, December. But where is July and August? Well, after the assassination of Julius Caesar in 44, before, um, 44 BC on the Ides of March, his successor, Emperor Augustus, changed it. He renamed Quintilis in honor of Julius Caesar and named it Julius. And then he named the other month after himself, Augustus. And this is where we get April and our calendars.